many years ago, my son Shimi became three years old. And uh, at that moment in time, the family decided that we were traveling to Eretz Yisrael. And we went to Eretz Yisrael. I am like the world's worst traveler ever. By the time I get to the airport, I'm ready to take a nap. So I forget to get on the plane. So we came to, you know, the thing. And one of our children was, um, one of our children was screaming already. So that was already like the start of like a uh, very exciting trip. And it was supposed to be an in and out trip to Eretz Yisrael, which is like also for me just like, by the time you get used to jet lag, you're ready. To, like I, I'm like on Australian time. I don't know what's flying. So we go there, and this child is screaming, and screaming, and screaming. And we landed. It was I remember it was over a Shabbos, and we went ahead, and we were in a hotel, and then we were going up north to Mayrone, where there's like a gazillion people, which is beautiful, but uh, you know, a thousand degrees and schwitzing and whatever, and this child of ours is screaming and screaming and screaming and screaming and screaming and screaming. Did not stop screaming. And we had five days where it was just running in and out, jet lag, craziness. And then we finally got back onto the plane coming home. And I was, I said to my wife, I said, when I get home, man, do I need a vacation? Like, I just need, I just need to get into bed, just sleep for like a week and catch up. I'm just like so I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what day of the week it is. I don't know what's going on. And I remember we got on the plane and this child was screaming, screaming to the point where it was started off with like Nebuch looks from people like, oh, you never, your child is screaming to the point where people were like, Makarabu. like, you know, like, and like, whose baby is this? <laughs> to the point where like mid flight, they were like passing this child around from person to person. Like, maybe you want to give it a try. Maybe you want to give it a try. Maybe you want to give it a try. Until we landed, and we landed, um, we came back home. I was like, okay, I'm literally just falling asleep. Somebody do something with this child, um, you know, and I'm just, I'm, I'm out of here. And my wife said, you know, I think maybe we should take the baby to the, you know, to the doctor just to like see whatever. So we went ahead and we, you know, took her to the, to the doctor. And the doctor took one look at her and said, um, do not go anywhere. I'll be right back. And he went to the other room, made a phone call. I came in and he said, Call your wife. She should meet you. You're going straight to this and this address, the hospital. You're going in. Baby, emergency sur- surgery. Um, this is like mama shakana snafashas. You have a few hours. Like, just, just go straight to the hospital. And my brain, the second I heard those words, I remember all my jet lag and all my craziness, the fact that I haven't slept in five days, just went right out the window. I was like, what? Emergency? What's going on? And that was what happened. We went ahead, flew to the hospital, and took care of what we had to take care of. And for 10 days, we were in quarantine and we were there in the hospital and it was probably the craziest 10 days ever. But the second, the second that my brain told me that there's no sleep right now, like there's something going on with your child, you have to act. All the tiredness, all the craziness, all the jet lag, all the frustration, all the everything out the window, totally changed. Zrizos is about the idea that I cannot sleep till two o'clock in the afternoon. I cannot sleep till one o'clock in the afternoon. I, I, I have to get up in the morning with a reason and with a purpose.